Hello, hope you all are doing very well and taking good care of yourselves and your family. Together we are going to fight against COVID-19. Yes? For those who don't know me, let me introduce myself to you all. I am Ishita ma'am and I teach science in class 5. Namaste. Congratulations to everyone that you all are now promoted to class 5, the senior most class of the primary department. You all should be more responsible now and regular in your studies. You have to work very hard once the school reopens. But till then, you can watch the videos that I'm going to send you and all the other teachers are going to send you. Okay. Let's start with today's lesson. Now those who have, were lucky enough to have bought your textbooks before the lockdown, you all must have seen what your first lesson in science is. But others, don't worry. I always keep on telling my students that science can never be restricted only to your textbooks. Textbooks though are only for the examinations and to score marks. Can we learn science only by reading our textbooks? Not at all. You have to explore beyond, beyond your textbooks. You have to look around yourselves. You can learn science from everywhere. Science is everywhere. Every day, everywhere, you will have science with you wherever you go. Like, I'm now standing on my balcony and I'm seeing the outside. Just see, what can we see? I can see so many trees, so many of them. I think many of you also, if you go to the balcony or peep through your windows, will be able to see some trees and plants around you all. And I'm sure some of you must be having garden and potted plants in your house like I have. So many of them. See? So, I hope you all have been able to guess What's our first topic? Plants. We are entering the plant, the world of plants. The plant life is so very important for us to know. Do you know what's the science of, of plants called? That branch of science that deals with plants? Anyone knows? Guess, 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 guess. Botany. It's called botany. Botany is the study of plants. So we begin with botany. Now in your previous classes, you already have learned so many things about plants. So many things. Why are plants important for us? Why? You all know? Tell me. Yes. Plants give us oxygen. And oxygen helps us to live. It's our life-saving. It's, it's a life-saving gas. Without oxygen, we can't live. Plants also give us, yes, food, oil, medicine, paper, wood. What about food? How can I forget it? Food. Fruits and vegetables we get from plants. And the list goes on. All animals, including the human beings, are directly or indirectly dependent on plants. We cannot live without plants. And plants are called the producers. Why are they called the producers? Anyone knows? Plants are called the producers because... Plants prepare food with the help of sunlight, 
all green plants prepare food with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and water. So sun, the main source of energy, passes its energy to the plants and plants produces their own food by the process of by the process of photosynthesis. You have already learned this in class 4. And where do the plants get chlorophyll from? See the leaves of the plants are green, green in color. The chlorophyll is the green pigment which traps the sunlight and helps the plants to prepare the food in the form of glucose or sugar. The roots help to suck the minerals and the plants have stomata. You can't see stomata like this on the undersurface of the leaf. You have to use a microscope to see the tiny pores which are called the stomata and stomata helps in the exchange of gases. So stomata is taking, the plants are taking in carbon dioxide through the stomata. So that's how plants are preparing food. And when we consume plants, we are getting our nutrition. I hope you all eat fruits and vegetables properly because always moms are complaining me that you don't want to eat this, you don't want to eat that. Children, now you have to take care of your health, extra, extra care of your health. So you need to get proper nutrition and plants will provide with you all the nutrition. Please don't forget. Okay, uh, you have already learned also about the parts of the plant. What are the parts of the plant? Let's recall. Stem. Yes. Buds, flowers, fruits, root, the shoot system comprises of the stem, leaves, bud, flowers and we have the root system. Yes, so all the parts are very important for the plants. You have also learned about the parts of the leaf in class 4. Do you remember the parts of the leaf? Yes, the lamina or the leaf blade, the petiole the leaf margin, the vein, the main vein, then we have the side veins. Yes, are you recalling? So you can see you know so much about plants dear children and we only have to just learn a little more in class 5. We will learn about the reproduction in plants in class 5 and we can do it slowly and steadily. Before I say bye to you all for today, I want you all to find more facts about plants. Like I can give you one interesting fact. Do you know forests are called mother of rainfall? Why? Why are called forests? Uh, why are forests called mother of rainfall? Do, do you remember in class four you have learned that through the stomata? Plants also give out excess water. Remember, this process is called transpiration. What is it called? Transpiration. You can write it down. T-R-A-N-S. Trans. P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N. Transpiration. So, as the plants are giving out their excess water through the leaves... What will happen to that water? It becomes, changes into water vapor and rises up, form clouds and then the clouds form as rain, fall as rain. So, you can find so many facts. I want each one of you to find about 10, 10 facts about plants from your encyclopedia, surf the internet or uh, see the television programs on any on plants and uh, trees, forests, National Geographic, from wherever you can collect more information. Till we meet for the next lesson and we start with plant reproduction. Bye for today. Now I have to go and water my plants. I hope you all also water your plants.
Bye.